hello welcome to this lesson of our study of vectors so um in this lesson we'll go through the scalar or dot product of two vectors okay so if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe to support us as well okay now let's start the scalar product of two non-zero vectors a and b which are here denoted by a dot b okay so there's there's supposed to be some bar here is defined as a dot b is equal to magnitude of a times magnitude of b cos of theta okay so this is the formula okay where theta is the angle between a and b okay and theta lies within zero and pi so theta can be zero it can be also pi because you have two vectors you see that they are on the straight line and at that time the two vectors are separated by an angle of what zero all right so with this we can go ahead and also do anything like um what i said was um if you have two vectors let's say on the same line on a straight line then it means sorry they are separated by an angle of 180 degrees okay their separation will be 180 which is pi okay and if they are not like meeting anywhere let's say a is here and b is also moving from somewhere it means the angle between them is zero okay so that is it for the scalar dot product let's go ahead and look at some basic things you are supposed to know okay so some basic observations now a dot b is always a real number okay that's one thing you should know this point it means the dot product is always a real number now a dot b is equal to zero implies that a is perpendicular to b meaning and also a and b are non zero okay they are not zero but they are perpendicular so you see that when one of them is zero the dot product will be zero but i'm considering a situation whereby the two of them are not zero but their dot product is zero meaning that they are perpendicular to each other and that is as a result of what the course of the angle because when they are perpendicular it means the angle between them is at 90 okay and of course 90 is zero so it means that from this expression cos of 90 is zero means the whole of the right side will be equal to zero okay now um if theta is zero then a dot b is equal to this because cos zero is one okay i hope i hope you understand this and if theta is equal to pi meaning 180 degrees a dot b is equal to negative of the product of the two magnitudes and also the cos of the angle is always equal to this meaning we just make cos theta the subject in the relation i gave in the first slide okay so this is how it looks like now let's go ahead and take other properties so properties of scalar dot product first of all it is commutative okay so this holds and also distributive over addition okay so a dot the bracket this is expressed as this okay and a scalar multiple property and you have a scalar multiplying one of them dot the other then the scalar can come out and you dot them first you multiply to the scalar or the scalar can go and ahead and multiply the, the other one before you come and dot it so any of these relations works okay given a which is given as a1i plus a2j plus a3k this one and b to v1i plus b2j plus b3k then a dot b is just multiplying their respective components and sum them so the first component of a which is a1 multiply by the first component of b which is b1 and plus this like that so this will always give you a value because there's no i and j attached to this okay so let's pick an example and work on it on it okay so if i have this a to be this b to be that then what is the a dot b or what is our a dot b a dot b will be equal to 2 into negative 1 okay i'm just multiplying them plus 3 into 1 okay so this multiply this like that this will take this okay i hope you get this and plus 1 times 3 and this will give me negative 2 plus 3 plus 3 and this will be equal to negative 2 plus 6 and that is 4 so means that a dot b is equal to 4 okay so if i'm i was supposed to find the angle okay then i was supposed to 
find the angle then i have to find magnitude of a which is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 1 squared and that will give me what so i pick my calculator all right so you can you can also point your calculator plus 9 squared that is 3 squared which is 9 plus 1 and that is square root of 14 okay and then magnitude of b so you take that one two and that will be square root of what one negative one squared okay plus one squared okay plus three squared okay so um square root of this plus that plus that and that is square root of 11. so magnitude of b is actually square root of 11. i hope you can calculate that so let me just write it here and so if i was supposed to find the angle you said that the angle cost of the angle is equal to let me first uh, write the formula you said that a dot b is always equal to this magnitude of a times magnitude of b okay then cos theta i hope you get it so this will be equal to a dot b was 4 okay magnitude of a was square root of 14 and magnitude of b was square root of 11 okay so you put them here and cos theta so this times square root of 14 and you have 4 okay 4 being equal to square root of 154 cos of theta okay so you make cos theta the subject and that is 4 over square root of 154 and this will be 4 divided by 154 square root of 154 and that is 0 0.322329 whatever whatever the other the smallest to it okay so you can continue so we find cost inverse the cost inverse of that this one square root of 154 okay and we had i had theta to be 71.2 degrees to one decimal place okay so that is it so you can actually manipulate with this and do a whole lot of things in here okay so in our next discussion we'll take more examples and tricky examples on the scale up or dot product of two vectors thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel